Hi everyone, my name is Eating Zhang from Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications. Today, I'm very glad to introduce our recent work, Lorenzen Graph Convolutional Network. Okay, let's begin. In this talk, I will first introduce some research background and the motivation of, of our work. Then, I will present our model and the experimental results in detail. Finally, I will summarize our work. Let's begin from the background. Graph convolutional networks are the sort of method in graph representation learning. Most GCNs learn the node representations in Euclidean space, but that could have a large distortion in the case of embedding graph with scale-free or hierarchical structure. If we want to measure the two points in the left figure, the Euclidean distance of the two points are shorter than graph distance. On the other hand, hyperbolic space is more suitable to modeling graph with tree likeness or hierarchical structure. That is because both tree and hyperbolic space goes exponentially. There are many equipment hyperbolic models to describe a hyperbolic geometry. Here we introduce the hyperbolic model. The n-dimensional hyperbolic model with constant connective curve is defined as the following equations. A very important concept is tangent space, which can conduct the operations not defining hyperbolic space. The mapping between hyperbolic space and the tangent space can be done by exponential map and the logarithmic map. Recently, several hyperbolic distance has been proposed. Here, we illustrate the basic framework of hyperbolic distance. The method passing view of hyperbolic distance consists of feature transformations and the neighborhood aggregation. The constraint of tangent space might be violated. To address this problem, we need to redefine these operations. Next, I will present our method LGC in detail. The input node features of LGCN could live in Euclidean space or hyperbolic space. For Euclidean space, we need to transform it to hyperbolic space. Well, for hyperbolic features, we need to transform these features into a hyperbolic space with the support curvature. To ensure the transformed features satisfy the hyperbolic geometry, it is crucial to define some canonical transformations in the hyperbolic model, so we define Lorentz version. Lorentz version develops logarithmic and uh, exponential map to project the features between hyperbolic space and the tangent space. Different from existing methods, Lorentz version only leverages the Euclidean transformations on the last n coordinates. And the first coordinate is set as 0 to satisfy the constraint in equation 4. In order to apply linear transformations on the hyperbolic model, following Lorentzian version, the Lorentzian metric vector multiplication can be divided as following. In Lorentzian metric vector multiplication, we first map the features into the tangent space and conduct the Euclidean metric vector multiplication in the tangent space. Please note that we only conduct the Euclidean metric vector multiplication on the last n coordinates on the tangent space. That could make sure the features set by the constraint of tangent space. The neighborhood aggregation in Euclidean space is to compute the weight arithmetic me or central of its neighborhood features. 
spreadsheet me can be regarded as the central in Romanian manifold. It doesn't have a closed form solution for hyperbolic space. The main idea of fashion me is to minimize an explanation of distance with a set of points. The aggregation weights are computed by attention mechanisms with the Lorentzian distance to solve this problem. The aggregation weights are computed by attention mechanism. We also derive the Lorentzian pointwise nonlinear activation following the Lorentzian version. We also transform the features into the tangent space and uh, apply the Euclidean nonlinear activation at the last n coordinates to make sure the features still live in the tangent space. To evaluate the effectiveness of our model, we conduct intensive experiments. Here, we choose two network embedding methods, three Euclidean GCNs and the three hyperbolic GCNs as our baselines. We also use six datasets in our experiments. This table shows the link prediction results, and we can find that the LGC achieved best results in other cases. We can also find that LGC achieve better results when the dataset has lower delta hyperbolicity, which means the dataset is similar to a tree. The results of node classification tasks is shown in this table. We can also find that LGC achieve better results than the baselines in most cases. Most existing hyperbolic GCNs focus on node level tasks. For example, node classification and link prediction tasks. We also notice that HCN as a hyperbolic GCN achieve good results on graph level tasks. That is molecular property prediction. Here, we provide a Lorentzian version of HCN named HGNL, which keeps the model structure of HGN and replaces its graph operations with those defined in this paper. Following HGN, we conduct molecular property prediction tasks on zinc datasets. The experiment is a regression task to predict molecular properties. The experimental setting is same with HGN for a fair comparison and we reuse the metric already reported in HGN. As shown in this table, HGNL achieved best performance among all the baselines. Also, HGNL can further improve the performance of HGN, which validates the effectiveness of the proposed graph operations. We further test the impact of attention metric size of LGCN. The results on link prediction tasks are shown in Figure 5. We can see that with the growth of the matrix size, the performance rises first and then start to drop slowly. These results indicate that the attention metric needs a suitable size. Now, let's summarize this work. We find some hyperbolic graph operations cannot rigorously follow the hyperbolic geometry. So, we propose a novel gra Lorentzian graph convolutional network called LGCN. LGCN reverses some rigorous hyperbolic graph operations, for example, feature transformations and nonlinear activation. LGCN also leverages an elegant neighborhood aggregation, which conforms the mathematical meaning of hyperbolic geometry. Thanks for your listening.